What makes a date a date? That's what we're talking about today on Love Ed with Julie and MJ. You have joined us in the middle of a series called Purpose Driven Dating. And this is how we define that. Intentional time invested in one other person for the purpose of growing in intimacy that might lead to a life-giving, lifelong marriage. And this week, we're going to address just the first word of that definition, the word intentional. intentional. You know, in college, I lived with the same three guys, sophomore, junior, senior year. And we got to know each other pretty well. And we got to see each other in many awkward situations, you know, where we I'm kind sure. of metaphorically tripped <laughs> and fell flat on our face. Okay. And not literally, usually. <laughs> I don't remember that but happening a lot. <laughs> whenever it, those sort of situations would happen, we'd kind of, you know, theoretically brush ourselves off, kind of pretend like it never happened. And and while the other three were laughing at the one, the one would be like, meant to do it. And, you know, that's exactly what happens in today's dating culture. We get in these messes and we just you know, fall on our faces. And then we just get up, brush ourselves off and act like, yeah, meant to do it. With purpose-driven dating, we want to encourage you to literally mean to do it. Right. So before we started dating seriously, we hung out a lot yep. around campus. We had a lot of the same friends and went to campus activities together. Football and game. Sometimes we'd actually study and mm -hmm. go to church or play racquetball in the racquetball. outdoor courts. Yeah. But then we had you asked me out on a date, and that was different yep. during the uh, one date I think. Yep. That, and that was something special. Of course, you had lots of dates. Are freshman year with other girls. Yeah, well, and I've shared in the past that there's a lot of things I would have changed hmm. about the way I went about <laughs> dating if I had to do it all over again. But the intentional way in which I approached a date is not something that I would change. As, as foreign as this may sound to you, having a defined date is a way of honoring each other. Hmm. The man graciously extends a date invitation to said woman <laughs> said woman graciously accepts or declines said date invitation. Mm, but graciously declines it, so it's honoring for a girl to decline? Well, I can't say I ever <laughs> felt honored when it was declined. <laughs> but, yeah, mm. uh, if there's a legitimate reason why you either don't feel comfortable or are simply not interested at all in going on a date with someone, um, honesty is honorable. Not necessarily specific honesty, as in, <laughs> I do not want to go out with you because you are ugly and stupid, but to be honest or about, stinky. I'm just not, or stinky, I just don't, <laughs> I don't feel, you know, feel that way for you. Uh, let's just say leading someone on is not honorable. Right. And for help in asking a girl out, you can click on the link in the comment section below. And can I ask you something? Despite so. my intentionality in college, did you or any girl that I go out with think, oh my gosh, he asked me out, does that mean we have to get married? No, of course not. Okay. Yeah. Well, of course you did. <laughs> but at the same time, they also didn't have any confusion about what was going on. By asking them out on a date, I was showing a special interest in them. Right. But today, many young people and students get caught in kind of this cycle of just perpetually hanging out, especially... That, that means, perpetual means like forever. <laughs> especially when you're just hanging out with the same person all the time, and they really do become a special relationship, but there's no uh, definition to it, and you're emotionally intimate, intimate, but there's no corresponding understanding of the other person's intention. So you just kind of stay in this unofficial state of hanging out. That that happening for a month or so, okay, normal. A year, not normal, not healthy. Doctors Beverly and Tom Rogers actually label that a surrogate soulmate relationship. And we talk about that more in detail in another Love Ed episode. Again, you can check out the link in the comment section below. There's a lot but of links. Here's the deal. If you're a guy mm -hmm. and you're curious about whether a certain relationship could be more than a friendship, that is your cue. Here is your word from the Lord. <laughs> that is the time to decide, do I need to ask this girl out? 
take a risk. So, but that's trickier for girls how to handle and, those situations. Indeed it is. In fact, I think we should talk about that next week on Love Ed with Julie and MJ.